Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today we're gonna talk about Pixar USD in Houdini. All right, so it's kind of a not a known thing in Houdini, but Houdini, the latest Houdini 17 has support for uh, Pixar USD. And if you don't know what uh, Pixar USD is, just uh, search for it. Uh, it's a new universal scene description which is actually uh, getting very popular. A lot of applications are supporting it now and uh, will be the standard, I think, for uh, in a few years. Um, what uh, You can read what USD is. Uh, it's basically like a, a Lambic or, or an FBX kind of a format, but you can, you can, uh, you can import or, and export a lot of stuff, not just uh, geometry. You can... Um, export the materials, uh, even animations, and all that stuff. So, and it's pretty efficient, it's pretty fast, and uh, it's what Pixar uses, so I guess we are all gonna use it now. So, if you go to the um, Houdini 17 uh, help, and you search for USD, you can see there's actually a few things that pop up. Uh, I don't think there is any documentation about uh, the, the USD is included. Uh, I just know because uh, in the beta was mentioned, and uh, and then I I found that it, that it, it is included, um, but uh, you have to compile it. Uh, so you can see there is a, a few notes, and uh, if we go to the let me see the the Houdini folder. In my case, uh, wherever you Houdini is installed. Uh, you should have a toolkit folder, and inside there is a USD plugins, uh, USD Houdini plugins, and this comes from uh, the GitHub repository. You open the README file. You can see here is a, this is a clone uh, of the Houdini plugins from the Git repo, which is actually all this stuff is it's open source. Uh, if you go to Git, all the code for this it's it's here. That's why a lot of uh, Applications are now using this, uh, Katana, uh, I think Clarice, uh, and all those applications are, are now adopting this. And if you go to the third party, you can see there's a Houdini plugin. And this plugin is basically, this is basically uh, what is here. And what I understand is that um, Houdini has all the headers you need for installing this. You can see it's... Uh, uh, the US libraries and headers are installed as part of Houdini. So um, it's really it's simple to build this, but uh, just the side effects guys uh, didn't want it to get uh, uh, mixed with this thing. Like this is still part of Pixar. Pixar is maintaining all that stuff, uh, but you can use it in Houdini. Uh, so they didn't want to pre-build it in Houdini just uh, so they don't uh, get like uh, comments or whatever uh, about fixing stuff there they are actually not making it so they're just including this uh, like uh, a fast way for you to have any Houdini instead of just building the whole repo here uh, so that's what it is and we're still gonna see how simple it is it's really simple actually so I just uh, opened a terminal here wherever the plugin is we could put it we can copy it somewhere else somewhere else because it's gonna require um, uh, here. It's gonna require uh, root access, so I'm gonna put it in my home folder here and paste that there. And it's already done, so I'm gonna go here and let me just copy this path to change it here. So I'm there. That's the folder that uh, that we are supposed to be in. Uh, there's already a build folder there. I'm gonna delete that because I already built it before. So the instructions are really simple. Uh, just make the build folder, go to it, and and run the uh, the command there to to just make it. Of course, you have to have all the necessary stuff to build stuff. Like the uh, I'm running this in 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 Linux Mint or is whatever uh, version of Ubuntu it is. Uh, it's it will work in any uh, Linux distribution, I guess. Uh, but there's a few things that you need to know, like uh, here, uh, you need to have your Houdini um, environment set up. So let's go to uh, where my Houdini is, and the case is H17. 
uh, HFS 17, uh, like that, uh, isn't it? Zero, okay. And then just source, uh, Houdini setup. So we have access here. You can see the environment has been initialized. If I launch Houdini from here, I will have access to Houdini. I'm just going to go back to wherever I was in my folder there. The folder I copied. Uh, so now I have access to Houdini here and I can compile with Houdini from here. So I can just uh, make the dirt, uh, make uh, the build directory, uh, cd to dan, and then just uh, do this command here, which is really simple. I'll put it up down here so I can copy that. Uh, all right, to, uh, all right. So just to make this, I just need to run the CMake command, and I'm just going to put uh, dot dot to go down down one down one directory, which uh, here is just pointing to the um, uh, folder there. But uh, since we already put it here, we have it there, so there's no uh, need for that. I just put dot dot to go back one directory, and that's what we're going to make. So let's make that, and there we go. Uh, so now we just uh, need to call the make command with uh, however uh, the amount of processor you want to put to this. I'm going to put 32, put install there, write install and uh, let it compile now. Okay, so uh, you can see now it's done. And uh, if you go up, you can see install a lot of stuff in uh, in our Dini uh, directories. And it knows this because we uh, started the Houdini environment variables first. So now we can launch uh, Houdini. Let's see, I have one open. I'm going to close it. I'm going to launch Houdini 17 again. And now here we should be able uh, to load uh, USD files. Let's go inside a geometry node. And there is a USD import. You can see there is a USD import now. Uh, we can do that. Uh, we can put it there and you can uh, load a USD file here. I, sh I should have one on my path here already, which is the, um, the kitchen set from the website. It's uh, da -da -da -da, uh, download some videos here. This one is kitchen set. You can get it from there if you want to test your uh, install. Now you can see there's nothing here, um, and you can actually select uh, what you want to import here. Uh, there's a really cool tree view here. You can click here's the tree view, and now you can see a, a tree view of the scene basically, like an outliner uh, or a graph of your scene. And then if you Click import that. If you're familiar with, uh, with Katana, this is basically very similar to Katana. You can see there's a whole kitchen there. Uh, it's imported in uh, the wrong direction because uh, I think the Pixar package uh, that exported this has another, uh, I guess, I think it's a C app application. So we're just going to rotate it up. And now you can see there's the kitchen and everything here it was imported like super mega quick uh you can play with this there's also a python panel here or a yeah python panel you can find it here let me put it uh, you can find it here it's not gonna be here uh so just put one of these make it a python panel let me show you what's happening i'm just clicking here uh put a python panel here uh, let's go to the uh, edit interface here. Now here, uh, you can see if we go, let's go to the paint tab menu here. Don't do that. Just so you know, just go to the paint tab menu. Uh, yeah, no, uh, you can see there's a USD tree view and just send it to the other side. Hit apply, accept. Now you'll be able to see it in this list here. You can see there's a USB tree view and uh, that is basically the same thing. Uh, if you select this guy, you can see it's the same thing we had floating. But now you have it here in a panel. If you prefer that, if you're going to use it a lot, you can just have it there all the time, like there, and then go and see it here. And this just uh, is used to see what areas of the USD you want to import there. And uh, there's a few other plugins here. Like uh, you can see, if we go to USD, you can see there's import uh export attributes etc there's a wrap as well if we're here 
uh, USD. You can see there's a, uh, an output here. You can export uh, USD files from here. And there are a few other nodes all over Houdini. You can see the documentation in the, there's a few documentation pages in the website. You can see you can do import a USD camera here and all that stuff. It's, uh, it's pretty useful. And, uh, as I said, this is getting, it's, it's going to become the standard, I guess, in a few years. So, uh, so there you go. That's how you can, uh, uh compile your plugin on Linux. Uh, don't ask me how to do it in Windows. There is. A few help there if you want to do this on, on Windows. Uh, there is you said using Visual Studio, you can do that. Uh, but uh, I I don't have Windows here, so I can't show you that. It's gonna be that's gonna be you. Uh, all right, so uh, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoy this one. Um, I really looking forward to using this for uh, production. I'm, I'm planning, and uh, that's why I wanted to have this working in Houdini. Uh, so there you go. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Let's keep learning together. Cheers.